because you can fight it, literally fight it yourself. So, my loves, this is where we are at on the journey. Today, I was meant to be uploading something called a reset routine, which is a routine that I've been working on in my personal life, which allows me each day to reset myself and to kind of get a sense of self back to be able to carry on with my day, which is quite difficult to do. I'd really like to share with you. And I woke up a few days ago and I sounded like this and I felt so achy and I obviously have been hit by a cold or something. Really after the last few months of taking time out and relaxing, now you decide to come cold, now really, battling that. And it's probably just all the bad weather because I think we're all sick of it, aren't we? so cold the only thing I feel up to doing is a, a video to kind of tell you guys what I do when things don't go to plan and when I feel ill and I've done six day routines before and I watched a couple of them yesterday and I was like can I really be bothered to do all of that when I'm sick no so this is a very realistic video and I've spent a lot of time recently researching things to do for wellness and health so i really hope these tips are going to help you if you're feeling a little bit um down my mum was like they just tell them to book a holiday that all all they need to do really is book a holiday mum that is an excellent tip thank you but there will be some added tips in here to get your health back to where it should be oh i can't tell you how much lemon and ginger i'm drinking right now the tip number one is medication and this comes with a little bit of a disclaimer because go to your doctor if you need certain medication but one of the things to understand is that often what's happening to your body is a let down effect and I couldn't understand why I suddenly got ill after I've all I've done is rest and take it easy and often when you stop and so many of you will relate to this then you get ill and so don't be afraid to be ill like it's just your body's way of letting go of a lot of the toxins and just like resting so often it is good to take medication to help and one of the things that I use particularly for my throat is um, disposable aspirin I gargle it and it's been absolutely amazing to take away that pain in my throat there are a few more natural things that you can take one of them I've just completely finished and that for me is tea and honey and ginger and lemon tea is incredible and I've been reading a lot about ingredients and things, Twinings have just bought one out which is their super blends and it's got lemon and ginger root and ginger root is the ingredient that is so good for you and then this tea is so nice on its own but what I like to do is get a massive dollop of honey and then put that honey into the tea and I was telling my mum about this the other day you need to look for something called manuka honey manuka is amazing because it's really good for like helping with sinuses and with sore throats it's really good for your health I've got a manuka that's 5 plus but the, the bigger the number the better the manuka honey is so like a 20 plus is really really good and Aldi and Lidl I found it for like a fiver because sometimes in supermarkets like 20 pounds don't bother wasting your money and having a couple of cups of those a day has soothed me so much keep yourself hydrated there are so many different reasons for this one of them is to help keep you um, kind of hydrated with energy um, and to help you to go to the toilet regularly because I often get blocked up um, when I'm taking lots of different types of medication at the moment I find it very hard to go to the toilet so hydrating keeps that kind of going this has been my like best buddy, partly because it's pink. It's glass as well, so it's good for the environment. So I just fill it up every day, and I probably get through like four of these a day, and um, I just have this bottle with me all the time. And the other thing it's really good for hydrating is your blood pressure. And if your blood pressure drops, you are going to feel like absolute crap. Like my blood pressure is so low at the moment, so I have to drink a lot of water to keep that blood pressure higher. And that brings me on to my next tip a blood pressure machine, which I had never heard of until I moved in with mum, and I was like, what is that, mum? Have you stolen it from the doctors? And I think she got it online from Boots or somewhere, but basically it's a blood pressure machine, and if you struggle with low blood pressure or high blood pressure, this is a really good thing to have in your house. My mum and I have very low blood pressure, and so every morning and every night, I've been taking this and doing it at home, and it's allowed me to know like where I'm at. It gives you peace of mind, like particularly if you, if you know you have low or high blood pressure. 
and it's helped me like on the days it's so low I like take it much more slowly and on the days that's a little bit higher I'll go for a walk or something and it's just really good to have in your house like I think everyone should have one of these um, I didn't even realize you could buy them online but it's really helped me understand a little bit more about where my body is at skin massage um okay i'm going to talk about a few things this, in one of my sick routines before i did like a whole skincare routine i was like i just can't even get out of bed at the moment i definitely can't be bothered to do that so i just use oils that's the only thing i've been using like taking off a little bit of like dirt from the night before and then slapping on oil i feel like oil just hydrates and gives my skin all that i need day and night um, so in the day I've been using the Yves Lom, uh, Radiance Face Oil, I literally sit there for like 10 minutes and I just rub it in, my stepdad came in and he was like what are you doing and I was like I'm just trying to get some hydration in my face and um, <laughs> I was covered in oil but my skin felt so much better after and then at night time I really like to use the Neon one, this is the perfect night sleep face oil, it's very natural, it's just, it's the most relaxing oil honestly makes me feel so much better even when I've not got the flu so I love that one and then the LMS frangipani body oil which you have to melt it's hard and then you put it in warm water like the bottle and just like rub it all over you and just slather yourself in oil and I don't even care like I don't care what I look like if I'm a greasy mess when I'm ill that's the only thing that I can be bothered to do right now is skincare and it's made my skin feel really nice and soft relax slow down and stop I know this is a really obvious tip to do and it's very very difficult particularly if you are at work or you're self-employed um, I know I used to get really frustrated when people told me to slow down and I had so much that I had to do but I have had to learn to say no for my own well-being and I might do a video about that because one of my biggest struggles in life is saying no to either things or people I hate letting people down I did in my last video lots of tips about how to relax as well so things like meditation or uh, mindfulness and these things have really allowed me to just stop and concentrate on my breathing reading is another way that just forces me to relax I talked in my last video about some of the books that I have bought recently for wellness and these are so good when you start to think positively and you feel better I feel like your body like gets better with you usually when I have a cold it lasts like two weeks this time around I can feel myself getting better already because every day I'm slowing down and doing this routine. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day and the mornings for me when I'm ill are the hardest because I literally wake up in bed and I'm like I can't, like I can't face the day, I can't get out of bed. Call in the favours, like if my mum is bringing me breakfast in bed every day at the moment. If you have a boyfriend or someone that can just help you a little bit to bring you breakfast in bed so lovely isn't it when you have like a cold just to have some food in bed and it really helps you to get that like first little burst of energy to feel better in the morning eat well and look at your diet again I've been doing lots of reading um, and I spent so much money on vitamins thank you so much for all of your um, comments in the last video I literally spent like 50 pounds ordering a load of different things but some of the things that I can recommend, vitamin C is amazing, like I double up on that every time I feel ill. Vitamin D and have that in liquid form if you can as well because that's a really good way to absorb it into the body. Magnesium is also really good and then any like fatty oils, so omega oils are really good. You need vitamins and minerals and vegetables and all these goodness to make you feel better and to give you the strength. So try having things like chicken soup which has got amino acid in, it's really really good antioxidant basically you need lots of fiber and I've been having things like prunes which have really helped keep everything kind of moving but naturally and then there's something that I've been reading about called the brat diet so eating things like rice and bananas and apple sauce is really really good for your stomach so if you suffer with IBS or if you're quite down and you've got a cold and you've got a bit of a poorly tummy sticking to certain foods under that are really good I have to be really careful anyway because I'm celiac but keeping everything like as calm as it can be having a bath or just steaming so I did an insta story yesterday I was so determined to get out um, with my mum last night to dance on eyes so I did a little story and I had a bath and I cannot tell you how much better I felt like 
the warmth of the bath, like it just made me feel so relaxed, it opened up all my sinuses. If you don't have time to have a bath, then you can steam, I love doing this, I literally just like put my face over a sink and just inhale all of the kind of steam and lovely water. You can put some essential oils in as well, be really careful with essential oils, you need to read like a lot about the ones that you're using, um, but I'm a massive fan of them and it just really helps to relax you. And then finally, smells, sorry I'm leaning over because I put them on the table, and when I'm poorly, like the biggest thing, and I've said this before, your sense of smell and the things that you think of when you smell something that makes you feel happy is so powerful. And if there's something in your house or something that just makes you feel better when you smell it, for me, I've got these two products I forgot to say what the name of them was in the last video, sorry about that. So the one that I use is NUX, which is just their like, I think that's the normal perfume thing and then the Neom Energy Burst and these are two very very natural ones. The Neom one is like a little bit more energetic, it's like fruity and this one's just like a spa like and I put those on me because I just don't want to wear perfume at the moment. I smell them and they relax me and they make me feel calm and I spray them on my bed and I spray them on my clothes and I spray them on my dressing now. I know it sounds really silly, your sense of smell is so powerful at making you feel better so just spray everything with like really nice smells. And as mum said, just book a holiday if you've got the flu, go online, book a holiday. What do you guys do when you feel under the weather, like do you have a tip? So make sure you're subscribed though and you've got the notification bell on on my channel because next week I'm doing that reset routine which as I said is very different for me and for a lot of people so I'm really excited to share that with you and I will see you guys when I hopefully have my voice back. <laughs> Bye guys.